Hello, I'm Tesla and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you a basic workflow between GeoControl 2 and the Unreal Engine 4. GeoControl 2 is a landscape generation program and you can download a trial free for 30 days off the website. Now in this tutorial, we're just going to be focusing on drawing some simple terrain and then bringing it into the engine. Now I have no doubt that I'll be going more in depth with these programs and uh, focusing on adding more detailed textures to our landscape. So make sure you stay subscribed for those future tutorials, but for now, let's just jump straight in. Right, if you've opened GeoControl 2 for the first time, this is what it's going to look like. Now it may be a bit overwhelming at first, but don't worry too much. I'm going to go through it at a very steady, um, simple pace and going to focus on getting some drawing some terrain and then getting it straight into the engine. So I'm not going to go into too depth with everything in the program, we're just going to need the essentials for working with Unreal Engine 4. So to begin with, we choose our size. Um, I'm just going to leave it as 1024. Obviously, the, the larger it is, the, the bigger and uh, larger the landscape is going to be. Now, we're going to come to eyes lines, and it's going to ask us to start on empty terrain. We're going to say yes. And now we're ready to start drawing some terrain in. So this, we've got a blank map, and um, the main thing we're going to be using is this slider. So think of this is the, the height. So think of it as bottom of the ocean to water, sand, land, and then just going up to the peaks of the mountains. So let's go to water height here. Let's just go here and to start drawing, we can't draw at the moment. If I'm clicking and dragging at the moment, nothing's happening. So to start drawing, we just click this little pencil icon and I'm going to zoom out and we can zoom in and out by coming up here like this. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to click and drag. But let's say I've made a mistake here and uh, we want to get rid of that. We can just go on clear layer and click generate. So, okay. We're going to drag around here, and now I'm going to click generate. And now we've got a bit of a hole in the middle, so we're going to fill this hole up with some land, and it's going to just basically be an island. So let's move this up to a bit of a beachy kind of setting. And now we're going to come on the inside and just draw around here like this. And now I'm going to click generate. And now I'm going to put this up even more. Now one more thing we can do is just select this and we're going to click auto generate. So every time we click and draw around now, it's going to um, automatically update. So if I go like this, you can see it's automatically updating. So this is a very easy way we can come in here and just change in the height and just start drawing around. So it's very simple to create terrains with GeoControl 2. So let's just get a bit of a mountain going on in the middle now. So and We can see the result of our height map in 3D by coming up here and selecting 3D. So I'm going to finish with that. Now we need to apply a texture to this. Well we can apply a texture to it and we can apply that same texture in the Unreal Engine. So we're going to come to render here and we're going to come to texture, shader settings and we have these settings. I'm going to select gradient. I'm going to open this up and now you may it may not come to this folder for you straight away but you should have a, a folder in your documents called GeoControl2 and then go to colors and you've got all these gradient maps. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose chili, and to to apply the texture, just click render. Okay, so if we, if we come to two D view, it's not it's, the the texture is not applied. But so how can we apply the texture here? We can just come up to uh, view, come to coloring, and just use shader. So imagine we're going to um, get some water in the Unreal Engine and just fill it up around here. Okay, so now we're going to come to, we're going to export this out now and bring it straight into the engine. So we're going to come to Generation, Terrain Export. Now, I'm not sure if all of these work, but I know for sure that raw 16-bit works. So we're going to use this and uh, output it to wherever you want. I'm going to just put it here. I'm going to name it Geo Control 2. Click Save. And now we need to export the texture as well. So we're going to come to Generation, Terrain, Export and uh, sorry no, image export and I'm just going to choose a uh, JPEG let's just put it in Geo Control 2 again and you can see 
that they've now outputted to there. So we'll come into the Unreal Engine. We will, and we're going to get our um, height map into the engine. So, so we're going to come up to Landscapes here, and um, obviously this is creating a new landscape, but we want to import it from a file. So we're going to select Import from File, and now we can browse to our destination where we have our height map, which is here. And now we can just move this up to where we want it to be. And one thing you need to remember is the overall resolution. This is very important, but this is what we're going to, we are going to use this to um, apply the texture to the, the landscape. So let's just click import, and now we've got our landscape. So let's get our uh, our texture applied to this. So come to our folder, just drag the JPEG in, and now we can create a material from this. And now we're going to open it up. And uh, the first thing we need to do is drag out UVs and grab a, tech, a landscape layer coordinates. That's what we need. And remember the, the resolution number, that important number, we need, can put that into the scale 1072. And say you forgot your, your number, and we can always come back to manage and click this and go to new landscape. We're not going to import the landscape or anything, we can just see it for the number and the number's still there, 1072. Okay, so that's done. And now we're going to just click Apply. Okay, so once that material is done compiling, we can now just drag and drop it straight onto our landscape like this. And if you're worrying, if you're wondering why you've got these black squares all across your map, all you need to do is just build the lighting, and building the lighting is just going to make it look a lot better anyway. But it's just going to take a little bit of a while, so um, I'm not going to do that right now. But this is just being a very basic tutorial of showing a workflow between GeoControl 2 and the Unreal Engine 4. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and make sure you stay subscribed for any future tutorials. Cheers, guys.